Tesla filed patent related to Tesla semi truck. It involves liquid cooled charging cable and connector. Let's see what this means. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. If you would like to receive daily Tesla news, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Eva Fox from the Tesmayan.com reports that Tesla always strives to improve customer satisfaction by providing the best possible products, convenience, and service. Tesla will soon begin mass production of the semi, so now the company is working on improving the superchargers that will charge it. I've spoken many times in the past that before Tesla starts to seriously take on the Tesla semi, it needs to do something about the supercharging system so they can be capable of charging Tesla uh, semi trucks, those huge semi trucks, easily or in a special way. But on March 5, 2020, Tesla filed a patent for quote, liquid cooled charging cable and connector. End of the quote. The patent describes an improvement to a liquid cooled charging cable and charger for charging of electric vehicles, including semi tractor. Tesla writes in its patent application. Uh, here is the text, but I will also put that text in the description of this video, as well as the link to the testmanian.com uh, so you guys can see it. Here is what that description says The advancement of electric vehicles has created an increased need for charging equipment that delivers electric power. Some such applications, example certain fast charging vehicle chargers, are designed to work with continuous current of 100 amps or more. With the advancement of larger electric vehicles, such as semi-tractor electric vehicles, charging duties have increased. Resultantly, resultantly, charging cables may be required to service charging at 2000 amps or more. Higher current flow in a charging cable results in the generation of more heat, which must be removed to prevent overheating and damage to the charging cable. As a result, the conductors of the charging cables have traditionally been sized larger to match higher current draws, resulting in greater bulk, cost, and difficulty in handling. End of the quote. The patent describes examples of systems and techniques for cooling charging cables. That is, the patent describes a charging system for an electric vehicle. According to the disclosure, the charging system for an electric vehicle can have a power supply, a charging cable, a connector, and a cooling system. The charging cable can have a coolant conduit routed through the charging cable. The charging cable can also have a coolant return path formed within the charging cable jacket. The cooling system can pump coolant through the coolant conduit and coolant return path to remove heat from the charging cable during the charging process. Eva Fox continues saying, according to Tesla production of the semi, according to Tesla, the production of the semi will begin in 2021, which means that the charging infrastructure for them needs to be improved before that date. Construction of Giga Texas continues at a rapid pace despite the recent rains that have kind of slowed down the construction process and have filled some of the ponds again, uh, about which I have reported in my last uh, Tesla Giga Texas report two days ago. Please use that and take a look and see what happens there. But if just recently, and it also just recently became known that uh, the first substantial comp competition, uh, that means uh, should be completed 
by May 2001 to by, by May 1 2021 I'm talking about Cybertruck about which I will report later today because we now have a date when Cybertruck is coming out of the assembly line at Texas Giga and Tesla Giga Texas it's next year at the moment it is not known which cars will be produced there at Giga Texas but Cybertruck and Semi are the most likely contenders recently if you remember we reported that since it has already been um, uh, actually we reported that reddit user skillf post a picture of a mate rate tesla semi truck that had been spotted in san jose california this particular semi truck was connected with a trailer possibly signaling per production testing the tesla semi was revealed in late 2017 by elon musk and um, the semi was engineered to maximize range that is why it is as aerodynamic as possible having a drag coefficient of only 0.36 it will also use less than two kilowatt hour per mile making it very energy efficient and the semi truck will be fully equipped with autopilot making it one of the safest on the road to date and it is filled with four independent electric motors that will enable the truck to go from zero to 60 miles per hour in only 20 seconds with an eight 80,000 pound load the starting price is expected to be $150,000 the Tesla semi comes in two versions a large cabin version and a small one the version in the uh, that we have seen spotted uh, is a smaller one since the trailer uh, is taller than the cabin this may be a point of testing since having the rectangular shape of the trailer impacts the aerodynamics of the vehicle since it has already been three years since the unveiling the public is starting to question when volume production could begin and we feel that the volume production will begin in sometimes in the summer or before the summer of 2021 many semis until now up until this point were spotted in the united states and even in canada some were used to help deliver tesla vehicles and one was even like i said seen in canada for what was rumored to be cold weather testing as well as client demonstrations and back in June of this year of 2020, a leaked email from Elon Musk stated that it was about time that the semi was brought to volume production. The email also said that the powertrain and battery would be provided uh, from Tesla Nevada Gigafactory. Now, uh, it was still uncertain as to where the other parts of the truck would come all that was known was that they would be produced in other parts of the United States now that we know where Tesla is building the new Terra factory Giga Texas it is likely that Tesla semi will be built there as well this may sound like an ambitious time frame which is typical of Elon Musk but just look at Tesla's China factory it was built and started production of vehicles in under a year in about 11 months and we are seeing the same kind of speed at uh, Berlin factory until Giga Texas is up and running the semi will continue being built in their current location in the meantime I think this is very exciting that Tesla is going to have liquid coolant charging cable and connector for the Tesla semi and we hope that in the upcoming months we will see more upgrades and improvements in Tesla supercharging system that will be capable of easily and conveniently host Tesla semis for charging and sending them on their way well friends let me know what you think about this new patent I think it's nice that Tesla is trying to cool those cables in a liquid way and um, let I'll look forward to seeing your comments. And in the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story about Cybertruck. And I have another one coming, new information about Giga Berlin. See you soon in our next Tesla report. God bless you. Take good care of each other and peace be with all of you.